Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to Joystick News, where we dive into the heart of gaming's latest and greatest. Today, we're talking about a major surprise drop that's shaking up the Xbox Game Pass library. That's right, we're delving into the chaotic, zombie-infested world of Dead Island 2, which has just made a grand entrance onto Xbox Game Pass. Buckle up, because this is one ride you won't want to miss. The surprise drop, Dead Island 2 hits Game Pass. In a move that caught many of us off guard, Dead Island 2 has landed on Xbox Game Pass. This isn't your everyday edition. We're talking about an ALA title that's been the subject of much anticipation and, let's be honest, a fair bit of skepticism given its tumultuous development journey. Originally announced way back in 2014, this game has seen more than its fair share of ups and downs, changing developers faster than a chameleon changes colors. But against all odds, it's here, and it's ready to be devoured by Game Pass subscribers. Back with a vengeance. What Dead Island 2 brings to the table. Dead Island 2 picks up the torch from its predecessor, turning the zombie slaying dial up to 11. Set against the sunny backdrop of Los Angeles, the game throws you into the shoes of a pathogen-resistant hero, or should I say anti-hero, tasked with slicing, dicing, and creatively dismembering the undead. The game promises a blood-soaked adventure through the City of Angels, where you'll uncover the truth behind a deadly virus turning Laz residents into zombies. But here's the kicker. You're bitten, infected, yet somehow immune. This twist adds a whole new layer to the narrative, offering a glimpse into what it means to be more than just a survivor in a world gone mad. With a wide array of weapons at your disposal, Dead Island 2 isn't just about surviving. It's about evolving from a mere survivor to a bona fide slayer. The Game Pass Effect, a new dawn for AOA titles. The addition of Dead Island 2 to Xbox Game Pass raises an interesting question about the future of AOA titles on subscription services. Xbox Game Pass has been a game changer, offering an eclectic mix of indie darlings and blockbuster behemoths. But with Dead Island 2, we're seeing a potential new trend where major titles are not just added to the service, but are shadow dropped with little to no prior announcement. It's a bold strategy that could redefine how we access and anticipate big releases. My take, a zombie slaying masterpiece. So what's my take on Dead Island 2 landing on Game Pass? To put it simply, it's a huge win for gamers. This game's journey from development hell to our consoles is a testament to the resilience and passion of its creators. And now, thanks to Game Pass, it's more accessible than ever. Whether you're a veteran of the original Dead Island or a newcomer thirsty for some zombie action, this game offers a fresh, albeit gory, playground to explore. But beyond the blood and guts, Dead Island 2 represents something bigger. The potential of subscription services to democratize access to major video game releases. It's an exciting time to be a gamer, and I, for one, can't wait to dive into the streets of La and see what Dead Island 2 has in store. Final thoughts. Before we wrap up, I want to hear from you. Will you be jumping into Dead Island 2 on Xbox Game Pass? And what do you think about the strategy of shadow dropping major titles onto the service? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and let's keep the conversation going. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more gaming news, reviews, and discussions. Until next time, keep gaming and remember, in the world of Dead Island 2, it's not just about surviving, it's about thriving in the chaos. Catch you in the next one.